make sure that um, you don't get Sharpie everywhere like I did. Because it's not coming off. The last time I streamed, I was like asking people like, you know, kind of like out of ideas, don't really know what to do anymore. So if you can do me a favor and give me some ideas, that would be good. So we're going to be working with that over there. That whole situation. So I'm just going to show you what you need, which is which is not that much. Um really easy, affordable supplies. So as you can see from our specimen here that um, I used fun foam. Um, it's just like really thin, like one, two millimeter. Super flexible, super affordable, like 40 cents to get it. And then half inch foam. And I have yet to discover where to get half inch upholstery foam. And the only place I can find it is to order it online. That's really the only place. I don't know any other place you can actually physically drive to and get like a yard of no idea and that should be it <laughs> it's like literally it so first of all you need to figure out how and like how your shape is going to be and the construction of it all is just getting your basic pattern down which is what this fun foam is going to be made out, made out of is your basic structure and then the half inch upholstery foam is going to give it structure and like how many times am i going to say structure who knows I make it into a drinking game that's like my entire channel um, so your half inch is going to be your base so i have maybe two inches along the back and that's glued down and then in the front i have the same amount right here and then I just made it like go up like this part's optional. It all depends on like what kind of animal you're trying to make, but this is canine. So I made like a ridge going up here just so it looks like it's a little bit more than two dimensional. Are we going to make them together? And are we going to fur them together? So you have no excuse to giving me questions like how do you put the fur on them? Like boo, I'm going to tell you how. So... <clears throat> To get this prepared, you need an ear pattern. Now you can make this. I can't tell you how to be making a pattern like this because it's all dependent on your style. Do not copy my style. And then you are gonna take this directly. It's just a piece of paper. You just draw like a triangle or some shit and you just put it up there to see if you like the way it looks. And if you like the way it looks, then go ahead and start cutting the materials out. <sighs> What you're gonna do is take your pattern and put it straight onto your one millimeter. And one millimeter is perfectly okay. And if you want it thicker, you can definitely get a thicker millimeter. You can get to four to six, it really doesn't matter. Slap it right on here. Now you're gonna do two. Look at you diddly did it. <laughs> now that you have both sets of the base of um your ears now you're gonna take a pattern and where it came to this part um making like the structure you can draw directly right here on your pattern to make a second pattern you're gonna take your half inch foam place your pattern right on here and you're just gonna trace it make two sets one for each ear so now that we have these two, this is the front, so I'm just going to make sure it fits, you know, everything like that. And that's going to be the structure for the front. And then you're going to take this pattern and just cut the part that went up, like on the inner ear, just like... And then that's going to be your pattern for the back. So you're going to have the structure for the back that's going to match. Is it warmed up yet? I think it's good enough. 
So here's what we're gonna do. We haven't shaved the foam down quite yet, but we're gonna do that after we glue it. Now that she glued down, you don't be needing this anymore. And you're just gonna shave all of the really sharp edges. Unless you want them, you can keep them. But I'm just shaving down these really sharp edges really quick. But you wanna keep the sharp edges here because this is what gives you your structure. But everything else, there you go. Now it's nice and sleek and looks less stupid. So you should have two sets of this. This is the front and that's the back. And you're just gonna stick it onto your head in any position that you want it to be in. It could be like on the chin. I don't judge. Actually, I do, but that's none of my business. Now moving on to um, patterning, pat patterning. This is basically all you do is take duct tape and you just slap it on there and cover the entire ear. Just one. We don't need to do both, sis. We can try to save time. So just one. Choose any one. Doesn't matter. And, um, yeah. I do not need to show you how to put duct tape on this. Anyone can do that. I'm gonna bring you down below. Now that she's taped, um, it comes to where to mark your patterns, where you're going to cut and all that. So I'm just going to start marking the seam lines. You're just going to go from one side, go all the way up, and then this whole thing is a seam line too. So you're just going to draw a straight line up. And then here's another one. Okay, so for this character specifically, um, you're going to follow what your character looks like, but it's this is black, um, this is going to be white, this is going to be white, and on the back of this is going to be all black. So that's super simple. Um, so your patterns should be cut out by now, and you should have it on some paper so that you are able to flip it. From one direction to the other and when you have paper on it it prevents you from accidentally sticking it together and ruining your pattern completely so if you want to keep your pattern here's a way to store it and so you put this on your fabric and you trace it this way and then you turn it over and you trace it this way and then you'll have both sets for each side of the ears, asymmetrically, all together. <laughs> I don't need to show it, right? I don't need to show it. So I have the ears sewn and glued in. This is what your finished result should look like. See, I have like this tuft right here. And basically you just, you know, once your ears are done, you just slip them on. And what I usually do is take like my face fur and sew the ears to the face so that everything is neatly attached and everything like that and I don't glue the ears down mostly because this method makes it really nice and neat along the entirety of the foam and usually like when it comes to right here where the foam was I like sew into the foam just so it's like hugging that real nice and tight yeah, hopefully this was like super simple and super easy to do because I don't know how I could have made this any more easy to follow. My boo bitches. You can sub if you want. You can. Thumbnail. See you in like another nine months.